Hi, I'm Cam Edwards with another edition of Media Misinformation, and this time, once again, going to the deep well that is MSNBC. Uh, Morning Joe and Joe Scarborough taking great offense to an op-ed by Wayne LaPierre in the Daily Caller. Why don't you uh, take a listen as Joe Scarborough goes through uh, one of the portions he found so offensive. Listen to this. Stand and fight. This is what he says, and it's in the Daily Caller. After Hurricane Sandy, we saw the hellish world that the gun prohibitionists see as their utopia. Looters ran wild in South Brooklyn. There was no food, water, or electricity. And if you wanted to walk several miles to get supplies, you better get back before dark. Or you might not get home at all. Nobody knows if or when the fiscal collapse will come, but if the country is broke, there likely won't be enough money to pay for police protection. Wayne LaPierre is arguing with a straight face. He says, and the American people know it. Really, let's take a poll, Wayne, and see how many members of the survivalist wing of the NRA are out there who believe that we're not going to be able to afford police protection in the future. All right, Joe, here's the thing. You don't have to be a survivalist to be concerned about police and public safety budgets. As a matter of fact, 40% of law enforcement agencies around the country say they will be experiencing budget cuts this year. 60% said the same thing last year. You have police in Chicago who are no longer responding to burglaries. They're no longer responding to assaults. They're no longer responding to vandalism calls because they don't have the manpower. In Oakland, California, they put a similar measure in place a couple of years ago. Why? Because they don't have the manpower. Joe, I've talked with sheriffs. We had an armed citizen story in NRA News just a couple of days ago. Sheriff in Washington State praising the armed citizen who was able to protect himself and his family because it took deputies 20 minutes to get there. Not because the deputies were driving slow, but because it's a big county and there's not a lot of deputies on duty late at night. Now, Joe, you can pretend that this isn't really happening, or or you can try to dismiss it as the rantings of survivalists, but the bottom line is Americans all across the country uh, for the past couple of years and for years to come are going to be dealing with the fiscal problems and the reduced public safety budgets that come from them. That's not crazy talk. That's just what's actually happening, Joe. All right, we'll be back with another edition of Media Misinformation before long. But in the meantime, be sure to check out NRANews.com each and every weekday for the latest Second Amendment news and information.